This is Kim Davis, and just how bad a week can Yahoo have? Seems only a few days ago we were celebrating the resignation of Roy Bostock, the chairman, and several other long-serving board members who said they weren't going to stand for re-election, and they were going to be replaced by some people coming at last out of a tech industry background, and that seemed like a good idea. Not good enough, though, for Daniel Loeb. He's um, the head of the hedge fund third point and a well-known activist investor and he's made an SEC filing this week putting forward his own slate of candidates so basically it's a war now at Yahoo. Um, he says there's no point having the disastrous outgoing board members handpicking their replacements and what there's a real need for is people with experience in media and entertainment and he is offering in addition to himself Jeff Zucker, former NBC Universal CEO, and Michael J. Wolf from MTV, presumably people who can bring the kind of experience he thinks Yahoo needs. And where does that leave Scott Thompson, brand new CEO, replaced Carol Bartz, the latest in a in a rapid line of Yahoo CEOs? Will he command the support of these third point board? Uh, candidates, if, if they're elected, just don't know. And as if that's not bad enough, Yahoo's also been looking around for an injection of cash. Um, a number of investment deals didn't come off, and what it seemed to be going for was a deal with Alibaba, whereby Alibaba would reacquire of Yahoo's 40% stake in it, and that was going to be a very cash-rich deal, billions of dollars, and talks are broken down. That's the announcement today. Nobody is speaking on the record. We're waiting for a statement. The idea that's floating around is that Yahoo somehow botched the negotiations, changed the terms, in other words, messed it up. And right now, it seems that Yahoo can mess up just about anything.